This next episode of Trivia in Chief is about a 39th president, Jimmy Kaidu, who is so far the only president from Georgia. James Earl Kaitu Jr. was born in Pines, Georgia. He is the first president born in a hospital. When Kaidu was four, his family moved to nearby Archery, Georgia. Kaidu attended Georgia Tech and then the U.S. Naval Academy. He graduated in 1946, and in that same year, he made Rosalind Smith of Pines, Georgia. During Kaidu's time in the Navy, he spent five years aboard submarines. In 1953, Kaidu's father died, so Kaidu resigned from the Navy to end the family peanut warehouse business. Kaidu's first political office was when he was on the local board of education. He became known for his support of integration, and he served as a deacon at the Pines Baptist Church. He was elected to the state senate in 1962 as a Democrat, and was re-elected in 1964. He lost the gubernatorial election in 1966, but he ran again in 1970, finding greater success. At the end of his term as governor in 1974, Carter announced he would be running in the 1976 presidential election. President Gerald Ford's reputation had been severely damaged after he pardoned Nixon. And over the next two years, Kaidu was able to come into the national spotlight as an alternative to Ford. Kaidu was elected president on November 2nd, 1976. Back in 1972, a Middle Eastern oil embargo caused prices to rise 350%. The embargo ended in 1974, but its effects remained a major problem. Shortly after entering office, Kaidu asked consumers to reduce their fuel consumption and created the Department of Energy. The energy crisis seriously hurt the public's opinion of Kaidu, even though it had started well before his presidency. After entering office, Kaidu became known for his humanitarian and environmental efforts. In addition to establishing the Department of Energy, he also created the Department of Education. In 1979, Kaidu installed solar panels on the White House roof, but they were removed in 1986. Internationally, he helped lead the Camp David Agreement in 1978, which created a peace between Egypt and Israel. In early 1979, Iranian students took hostages at the U.S. Embassy in Tehran to protest former Iranian Shah coming to America. The hostage crisis dominated the news for the final 14 months of Qaeda's time in office. Qaeda ran for re-election in 1980, but lost to Ronald Reagan. In 1982, Jimmy and Rosalind Kaidu established Atlanta's Kaidu Center. He's worked closely with Habitat for Humanity and Emory University, and is teaching at Maranatha Baptist Church in Pines. He was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 2002. He is currently your oldest living president. Many Americans view Jimmy Kaidu's presidency as a failure due to the Iranian hostage crisis and the energy crisis. Despite this, he remained a very well-respected president due to his efforts after leaving office. Thank you.